Hey, coach, I'm wondering how much of obviously tough day. How much is it hard for you to coach knowing that coach wasn't there with you guys, and um, how were you able to stay focused and keep the guys uh, together? I think coach uh, has talked to us about being focused, focused on the things that we can control, what we can do, and that's what we tried to do as a staff. Stay focused on what we needed to do, get the team ready, and get them prepared for the game. And how did you think they responded overall? I thought our guys were terrific. I thought we did a great job defensively. Took them out of what they kind of wanted to do and and really pressured them out. Juan was terrific at uh, not allowing Stevenson to get into a rhythm, which was really, really key for us. And uh, and then I thought we did a good job of pushing the ball out in transition, pitching the ball ahead. Norm, this is so different than, than November because of the health part of this. And, and, and a, a good friend of yours is, you know, somebody you're kind of thinking about more than just he's sitting at home. I mean, did, did that play into this? It, it is different. It is different without a doubt. The stakes are much higher and those things. But what we try to do with our guys is take one moment at a time, one play at a time, and then uh, just control the things you can't control. Norm, did you have to strategize about how to inform the players over we, uh, we didn't really tell the players until really this morning uh, that coach might not be coaching and because uh, we didn't want them thinking about that all night. Um, but our guys, uh, they're mature. You know, Dewan and Jalen and Kevin, KJ, even though he's a sophomore, they're mature. And uh, they knew that, hey, this is the time that we need to bond together and come together more as a family in this situation. They and it seemed like you were able to reassure them also that they, they was in the hospital, but that it wasn't dire, was it? Yeah, you, yeah. You we know? were able to tell them that coach is doing good, which he is, and everything's gonna be fine, but you know, he's not gonna be able to be here this weekend and, and that stuff, but he's looking out and he's watching you and he's gonna, you know, jump your tail when he gets back. Did you, you said, talk to uh, him? on the podium that you did talk to him after the game on the phone. Mm -hmm. How long was that conversation? Can you give us a little bit of that? Oh, he stayed on way too long. But 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 uh, he he I did talk to him on the phone. The whole staff did, and he was just so proud of uh, our guys, how they performed, what they did, how they stuck together, and and really defended and played Kansas basketball. So he he said he was so proud of watching. Hey, Coach, when you're walking off the court with everything that's happened, what are you feeling? You know, everything you've been through the last, or you and your guys have been through. I'm just happy for our guys. I'm just happy that we obviously played well. Uh, in, in a tough situation, um, have coaches, coaches fine, and, and that stuff. So, so it's, it's a blessing every day to be at Kansas. I understand that. It's a blessing to have the guys that we have. And, and you know, I just wanted them to play the best that they could and us as a staff give all we could to help. Does it make tomorrow easier having gone through today, do you think? I mean, Playing against Iowa State? No, 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 no. Iowa State's never easy. No, no, no. no. The, just having the, the one experience of, of dealing with him not being here and all that. Yeah, I, obviously, yeah, it, it will be. Uh, but still, you know, the opponent is the opponent. Yeah. And Iowa State is a terrific team. They can score from all three levels. They've got five guys that can put up double-figure points. Uh, and then on top of that, they're one of the best defensive teams in the country. So we know we're going to have to move the ball even better than we did today. We're going to have to defend. We're going to have to rebound. And it'll be a tough battle, which it always is. Yeah, there was the, the, by the time you inform the players, they obviously have the, the up-to-date information that everything was going to be okay. But weren't there were moments last night where you were a little bit more concerned about the outcome? Uh, we, we talked, we talked uh, late last night when Coach wasn't at the meeting. And that stuff, and the guys kind of were like, "Who's coach?" And, and that stuff, but they were fine. They understood, and, and uh, you know, West Virginia, I've, I've scouted them for 12 years, so coach lets me go off with my rhetoric and that stuff because I know them pretty well. And coach against coach hugs in the Big East too, and and everything. So, so uh, it was it was familiar to the guys, and I think they were okay with it. Was it smoother for you or familiar to you too, having done those games early in the season at the helm? Did that probably, make probably. it easier? To, to say, it, to say uh, it wasn't would be wrong. No, it is It is easier just that the guys know how I'm going to coach them. And, and they responded well. And, and, you know, they were terrific on the court. The leadership uh, that Jay Will and Dewan and, and uh, Kevin and KJ showed was, was terrific. There's a suggestion from, among a few players that you might not yell quite as much as, uh, as Bill. No, that's not true. I, I do yell quite a bit, but probably in this situation, not as much because I think we need to be positive with yeah. them. And the other thing is, I'm a guy, if you know me, I could lose my voice in a minute. So I said, well, I think I want to try to keep my voice. So I so, uh, the players didn't know anything, but last night, were you guys like, as a staff a little scared at all for Coach's health, or were, were you pretty – Reassured that this was not super serious at we, the beginning? We, we were re reassured that he was okay. 
that he was going to be okay, and, and that stuff. There was never a moment that we thought he was. So how did you sleep last night? Uh, I don't ever sleep that good, to be honest with you, when it's a game. No matter if I'm head coach, assistant coach, or whatever, when it's my scout, I never sleep good, which Iowa State is my scout too, so <laughs> so I won't sleep good and, and that stuff. But, you know, that's okay. I got up and I worked out this morning, and I love doing that, so. Well, how much did having Jay Will and DeLon who have been through these tournaments and having the experiences they had, how much did that help? Oh, it helped a ton. You know, there was one, one sequence that – I wanted to call son, and Juan said, hey, hey, Jay Will already called uh, something else. And I said, okay, well, let's go with what Jay Will called. And and uh, it actually worked pretty good. So, so uh, no, those those guys, they're easy. They're easy to coach, and, and they, they do what you ask them to do. They all want to do well. They want to do well for their teammates. And that makes it really, really easy. What coach? What I can't, I can't remember what it was, but, but, uh, and plus I wouldn't give it up either, so I don't give it that much. It did, it did. Jay Will scored, so, hey, as long as he scores, he feels pretty good about those. Well, let's say it's the one he hit him in the nuts. Well, I don't know about that one, yeah. yeah I guess he did, so. How close was Kevin to not playing? Uh, he's pretty close. He's pretty close, and, and, uh, Kevin was the warrior today. We didn't know how many minutes we can get out of him. Then I think he felt kind of good out there, so he stayed out, played a little bit more, and that stuff. So hopefully tonight he can get a, he can get some treatment and some rest, and hopefully we'll be able to have him for some minutes more. Norm, can you talk a little bit about how good you guys were defensively and you guys kept off the Northwood class? I think especially against the last game. I, I, I thought that was a big emphasis because they really hurt us on the class last time we played them at home, and we talked about I got to keep them off the gas, got to block them off. Good luck, guys got to block him out and, and that stuff. And, and I thought Jay Will set the tone early by rebounding the ball. And, and then all, I thought Grady did a good job of rebounding the ball. So that was a big emphasis from minimum. Well, do you anticipate Bill you know, getting on a Zoom call with the team or doing anything like that? Or? Oh, I, I, I don't know if he'll, he'll do that or, or not. He, he needs to rest and that stuff. So, so uh, he, he hadn't said that to me. When you talked to him, did he say, he found peace through the game, or was he churning a little bit? Uh, well, he's always going to be churning when he wants the game. But hey, hey, hey good luck now, Coach. The, uh, I thought, uh, I thought uh, he sounded really good. He sounded really happy for the guys. Good.